We have grown accustomed to packed houses at North Carolina A&T for homecoming, and we expect the same atmosphere tomorrow. Yeah, Chad, that's right. Aggies truly look forward to this weekend. It's why they come from all over just to look back on the good times. WFNY News 2's Nixon Norman is live after meeting three generations of Aggies. The heart of Jiho goes beyond all the tailgating and football that takes place. The real heart of North Carolina A&T's homecoming lies within the people that come year after year. Now, Aggies, they vary in age and where they come from, but one thing they have in common is that A&T is home. Dr. Burt Pigott's father was a football coach for the university back in the 50s. His mother, a dean. Here's a photo of them. A lot of the players uh, had fathers that were not around, and they were, um, they told him that he was like the, the only father that they knew. Deborah Austin was Miss A&T in 1965 and 66. She told me she was honored to be crowned then, but what really touches her is that even though she was unlike some of the queens before her, she still got the crown. I was the first Miss a &T, who was a nursing graduate, a graduate from the School of Nursing. I, I didn't have a sorority that I represented, and I was a South Carolinian. Other Aggies came back to a &T after graduation to teach. John Jolly says he's already reconnected with several students just this year. They come up and they hug, they remember me. I'm 78 years old. And they still remember from 1971-72 when I taught at a &T. Now, if you're looking to take part in the weekend's festivities, we have a comprehensive homecoming guide over on our website. Live in Greensboro, Nixon Norman, WFMY News 2.